biggie of the year. There's all kinds of food events going on around the country now, but Aspen is really the granddaddy. There's the trade program that Amex puts on that I'm involved in. I moderate all those panels. There's a consumer program here as well, lots of different demonstrations. And then twice each day they have this grand tasting uh, beneath these tents here in the middle of Aspen. And you can see there's just, uh, well, there's just all kinds of vendors here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful backdrop with the mountains behind us. Um, but I'm more curious about the best new chefs each year because this year, as there have been in years past, there is one best new chef from Chicago. That is Jason Vincent from Nightwood. We're going to go inside to the tasting tent and see what he is cooking up this afternoon. Inside one of the tasting tents here now where they have the best new chef's uh, kiosk or pavilion, I guess you'd call it, with uh, Jason Vincent. Uh, hey, Chicago. Right. So, uh, so tell me, what, what is the responsibility for someone like yourself who's named best new chef? You have to come here. What do you have to do here? Uh, we have to do one dish. It doesn't necessarily need to be like a signature dish or something that you always do, but something that kind of is representative and defines you. Um, which is a lot harder of a task than is, you know, it's like, oh my God, what do I do? Like, I don't want to blow this, you know? Um, so everybody, you know, we've been paying attention to what each other's been doing and everybody, these guys are so talented. Yeah, it's, they are. It's nuts. You got chefs from all over the country here. Um, so what do, are you going to try to show this crowd here that has assembled what you're doing at Nightwood? Well, we, uh, you know, we do delicious and interesting and, you know, doing it for a thousand people is kind of the rub. Um, but we took Arctic char from Lake Michigan. We used the roe, the skin, the, the loin. Uh, we did a little bit of fermented apple, um, those tiny, tiny, tiny little apples from Vera Vidinovich. Um, goat's milk. I don't know, just all Midwest stuff, but, like, interesting, you know? It is tough to do it for 1,000 people, but uh, you feel like uh, you've got, I mean, obviously, Jason Hamill is here, uh, yeah, and you've got uh, Ryan Poley from Chicago and Danny Grant from Chicago helping you out. So uh, you're feeling good about this? Yeah. I think it's, I mean... Yeah, it's like the, the prep was the hard part. And another huge event here in Aspen during the weekend is the Cochon 555. It's 10 cities, 10 chefs, all competing, all about heritage pig breeds. And joining me from Chicago, the Chicago winner, the Chicago entrant, Cosmo Goss from The Publican. Congratulations for being here. You, you made it past the regionals. Now you're here for the finals. Tell me, I guess, before we talk about what you've made, you got to talk about your pig, because that's really one of the most important things in this competition, right, is the kind of pig you're using. Absolutely. It came from uh, Kim Snyder and Faith Farm in Kankakee, Illinois. It's actually a Berkshire Hampshire cross, um, but she's kind of a, a hippie woman, and uh, she kind of lets them roam wherever they want in the farm. And they're actually really old pigs compared to the normal market weight, which is about 10 months. Hers are 14 to 16 months old, um, so they're longer, slender animals, and and in my opinion, the best pork I've ever had, or in the country. And these are pigs you use at public and public and quality meats typically? Regularly, yeah. We get about one to two of our pigs a month. So. Okay, so what have you done here? Is it the same thing you did to, to get here, or have you changed things at all? We tried to do exactly the same. We did the, uh, the meat trellis 2.0, so, you know, it's a little sturdier this time. Uh, we took our favorite dishes, and we did those this time. We couldn't do We did quite a bit last time, so we trimmed it down just a little bit. So, so some details. So besides the trellis, what else are judges going to be tasting? Uh, we got a, our blood sausage and strawberries with salsa verde. We have a cuttlefish dish with uh, andouille pudding and black lime, uh, and we have our uh, churros and chocolate, so pigskin churros with a pork and chocolate caramel. I saw a niche in a food community representing amazing products. People were really careful about where their food was coming from. The conversation had just started. And I'm really nosy when it comes to like what's happening on my table. So when I was going out to restaurants and I was asking servers, what's the difference between Kuribata or Berkshire pork? And they're like, oh, I think it's the same thing or it's two different breeds, I'm not really sure. And I just kept digging down, I'd get deeper into kitchens and I just found the conversation really had a place to be exposed. And so this is where you partner sort of farmers and their pigs with chefs, but these chefs here today have all won their regions already, right? Yeah, so there's 10 chefs here at Grand Cochon today, and it's a perfect synonymous conversation because we find a pig, we find a chef, we connect them, and we hope that they continue to work together. And after five years, we've made, you know, a thousand introductions. So we've really helped stimulate a new conversation inside the kitchens with, you know, where the pigs come from. What are the chef's uh, goals here? Obviously, taste, presentation. What are the, what are the judges looking for, and, and how are they awarded? They're awarded a sort of a people's choice combination with judges? Well, there's, uh, there's two votes that go uh, on the floor. There's one on the floor for the best bite of the day. That's a 51%. 
of the overall win. And then the other one is the judges' vote. The judges' vote breaks down. There's like three different categories. They look for creativity, presentation, and utilization. They score one through ten on each score. And then we basically add those two together. MIT graduate fixed the uh, formula for us, and it shoots out a winner. 2013 Grand Cassata winner, fifth anniversary tour. Goes to Boston. Adam Silva. Thank you so much.